This is Twit. Now, the good news on the most recent of three Tesla key fob hacks is that it's not easy to do. Um, but it also shows that even well-designed devices can get hacked. Um, as Tesla found out for the third time from this one researcher, uh, and we've spoken of him before, Leonard Wouters, uh, W-O-U-T-E-R-S. He's a PhD student at the Computer Security and Industrial Cryptography Group at the Catholic University of Leuven. That's KU Leuven. We've also uh, had, we've covered a bunch of the work coming out of there, uh, located in Belgium. He came up with, uh, the, the press said he discovered this. Well, I guess, but you know, it's not, it's not like he tripped over it, as we'll see. But he did, he worked out a method to overwrite and hijack the firmware of Tesla Model X. Is that Model 10? Is that how we say it? Model 10? Yeah. Key fobs. Yeah. No, no. I'm sorry. Um, Apple is 10. Tesla is X. Okay. Model <laughs> That's X. That's very confusing. Thank you. Because <laughs> hey, it's not Space 10, right? Right. It's space space X. X. Yeah. No, so, it's a Model X. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what this guy did, he figured out a way to uh, that a hack that would allow him to steal any car that isn't running the latest software update. His attack only takes a few minutes to execute and requires inexpensive hardware. But I'll explain it. It's not that easy to do. This guy, same guy, has previously produced successive successful attacks against Tesla's security in 2018 Jeez. and 2019. And nope. now he adds... 2020. He better get his PhD. Uh, I'm just saying <laughs> he deserves it. Yeah. He's earned it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that when he called the Tesla security people, they took his call. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. they fixed it. I should, we should yes. point out. Yeah. Yes. So he explained that his third attack works thanks to a flaw in the firmware update process of the Tesla model X key fobs. It can be exploited using an electronic control unit, you know, the brains, the ECU, salvaged from an older Model X vehicle, which it turns out they've been around long enough. They can easily be acquired online on like from eBay or other stores or forums selling used Tesla car parts. Wooters said attackers can modify the older ECU to trick a victim's key fob into believing the ECU belonged to its paired vehicle, ah. right? So you're you're using this ECU that you you bought used to trick the victim's key into believing it's pairing with its with its own car. Um, once that's done, once you've pulled off this trick, then the ECU is able to push a malicious firmware update out to the key fob over Bluetooth. Since the key fob update mechanism was not being properly secured, they were then able to wireless, wirelessly compromise the key to take full control over it. And subsequently, they could obtain valid unlock messages to unlock the target car later. Okay, so here's how the a whole attack works in practice. The attacker approaches the owner of a model of a Tesla Model X vehicle. In this first phase of the attack, they must briefly get within about five meters of the victim. <laughs> uh, so at that point, they're probably at Bluetooth low energy. Right. Later, the, it switches to full Bluetooth. But at this point, they need to be within five meters of the victim to allow the older modified ECU, that is this, this spoofing ECU, to wake up and ensnare the victim's key fob. The attacker then pushes the malicious firmware update into the victim's key, although this phase, after that initial contact, which can be brief, but it has to be close, now they're able 
to be about with, within 30 meters of the victim. And it takes about a minute and a half, about 90 seconds to execute the, the firmware push into the victim's key. But that at least allows the attacker to put some distance between themselves and the targeted Tesla owner, thus reducing suspicion. They don't have to like hang around like for a minute and a half. Once the victim's key fob has been hacked, the attacker is then able to extract car unlock messages from the compromised fob. The attacker then uses these unlock messages to enter the victim's car. That gets them into the car. The attacker then connects the older ECU to the hacked Tesla's car diagnostics connector, which is normally used by Tesla technicians to service the car. The attacker uses this connector and a, another couple minutes to pair their own key fob to the car, which, th which they are then later able to use to start the vehicle and drive away. So essentially, the, the, the attack is uh, use an old ECU, get close to somebody with, you know, any model, any not yet updated Tesla Model X um, for a total of about a minute and a half, most of which time you can spend at, at a distance that subverts the key in order to get it to release a bunch of up of unlock messages that it has stored. The bad guy then uses those to unlock the car to get into the car and trick the car then into pairing it with a new key, essentially adding that the, the attacker's key to the permanent paired list. And then they've got a completely valid key that allows them to, uh, you know, do anything that a valid owner of the car would do. So again, not easy, but clever. Um, the downside is the attack uses a relatively bulky rig. You know, this ECU is not small, so you got to stick it in a backpack uh, or a bag or, or maybe like in another car that's parked next to the victim or something. But, you know, still, the attack is feasible uh, and it's not expensive. Uh, you need a $35 Raspberry Pi, uh, a $30 CAN bus shield on the Raspberry Pi in order to connect to the Tesla's CAN bus, uh, a modified key fob, and that older ECU from a salvaged vehicle. Apparently, those are 100 bucks now on eBay. Uh, and also about a $30 lithium polymer battery in order to power the whole portable rig. Uh, and of course, being a responsible lad, uh, after discovering the bug and developing the exploit earlier this summer, he reported it to Tesla's security team in mid-August. Um, only after Tesla began rolling out an over-the-air software update to all Model X cars did Leonard then publish his findings. Uh, and the software update containing the fix is 2020.48. So... Don't leave the garage without it. And, yikes, yikes. Uh, and that's you know, an expensive vehicle, another, so it may be a lot of work, but it's it's also justified if you can get it. I mean, it's well over a hundred thousand yeah. dollar vehicle. So yeah, yeah. And you know, again, it, it's a rolling computer. I, there, there, it's funny. There's some commercial on on some channel that I listen to where someone is saying. Uh, is saying it's you know talking about someone's car. Have you ever looked under the hood? It's like a computer on wheels. <laughs> and I'm thinking, Duh. no, it's not like a computer on wheels. It is a computer on wheels. <laughs> yeah, my Tesla was a beta beta computer on wheels. That's for sure. Uh huh. Yeah. And you were the beta tester. I was the beta tester. What was it that like reverse went out or something? Oh. It wouldn't. It would, wouldn't. The, well, or, we first or, or, got or, it. Well, oh, it would you would you would drive it think I, I had it in reverse, I could have sworn, but it went forward. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Yeah. Right. And it dinged a car in front of me. I was in a driveway. But then I called them and they said, Well, no, let's we were looking at the logs. We you you, were, you didn't have it in reverse. It's like, oh, I didn't realize you had logs. So they they record everything. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise. And then uh, there were a few right. other things. The door kept closing on Lisa. Um she didn't like that. 
Yeah, it's supposed, to, <laughs> it's supposed to have all these sensors in it, but it turned out there really that'll, weren't that put many. put you off a little bit. Yeah. She finally got the gold. point where she said, look, before you close the doors, because you know, they're all automatic, you have to shout, doors are closing, and wait for an acknowledgement mm -hmm. <laughs> that everybody is out of the reach of the door, especially those gullwing doors, because they clonk you right on the head. And then, uh, and then uh, they had a, I can go on. You probably don't want yeah. me to, but it had a seat that tried to eat us once. But that's I it. did hear you say uh, at some point it wasn't on this podcast that you were not planning to buy another Tesla. No, I'm not. No, I'm so, not. So mostly yeah. it was it wasn't the bad experience, although Lisa didn't like it. It was just that there were issues with car, with parts and delays and stuff, and I just thought I, I want to buy it from a company that actually makes cars for a living. Well, and you were a pioneer. I, I was. Mean, you were. I you wanted know, to support you Elon. I right did. There First yeah. in line. Yeah, and I'm gonna. My next car is electric, but it's made by Ford. You perhaps you've yeah. heard of them. Yeah. <laughs> it may. You know what though? I would trust Elon with security more than I would trust Ford. Who knows? It's this. The new Ford mm -hmm. uses an app on the phone to open the door. The good news is nobody now wants a Ford. Can oh. <laughs> can use the excuse right. of oh, uh, yeah. we really didn't consider security. Right. Exactly. It's like. Sorry, honey, that, yeah. that ship yeah, has sailed. That ship so. has sailed. 